What's up in the legal tech world? Find out in the Lex Factor briefs. Quick hits on the latest happenings in the industry and discussion from your Lex Factor hosts around their potential impacts on business. Feed your brain and empower your firm at the same time. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Lex Factor Briefs. It's your host, Lauren, here. And your co-host, Brad. We got quite the article for today, don't we? Are oh. you saying that because it's uh, cybersecurity related? It is. I love cybersecurity. Uh, what? Tell yeah. me more. Oh, my gosh. I talk about it all the time on I know this show. You, you really do. I am. <laughs> yeah. It's a little too much sometimes. It is. But it's important. But I think after, you know, recently we talked about the Microsoft breach. Scary. Obviously, we've talked about COVID a lot, but how much it has affected cyber crimes. Right. Up so, so much. Exactly. Continuing to increase. So, and that's why I think it's important to talk about it still because it's relevant, it's happening, and every day it seems that there's a, a greater and greater chance that it's going to happen to you or somebody you may know. Right, exactly. So that being said, we came across this article, Managing a Cyber Crisis, Seven Practical Tips to Recover with Strength. There's preventative methods out there, you know, but if it does happen... It's about how you overcome it and right. what you do next. You need to be prepared. And those first minutes when you first identify it are the most critical. Okay. So let's go through them. Yeah, what what are they? Perfect. What's the first one? All right. So number one. Let's act... see. Let's see what the first are you, one is. Oh, are you going to guess? No. No. Act swiftly and be nimble. Oh, what did I just say? So oh, important. Oh, man. Do you see how I kind of led into that? Yeah, oh. it's so important. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they get really scared and nervous off the bat and they turn off their PC. Okay? So think about that. Think about what happens when you turn off your PC. You lose all the uh, memory that's currently in the system. Not the storage, not the hard drive space. I'm not talking about that, but the actual information that's stored in the computer memory. So the first thing that you need to do if you're under attack is actually unplug the network cable or disconnect from Wi-Fi. That's the most oh. important thing to do, especially if you have a forensic team that can look at that information because now you've retained it and you've isolated it down to just that specific PC. That's very insightful. Thank you. That was actually very helpful. Okay. So number two. Do you doubt me? I feel like th no, that I was just, a doubt. I never thought about it, but then it's like... If I was at home and this happened on my personal computer, you I turn could, it off. I could easily, well, I, and I could easily disconnect the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not a computer uh, wizard. Wizard. Let's say. I'm pretty good. Those were not the <laughs> words that were on your lips. I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty good with technology. I'm not going to lie there, but turning off the Wi-Fi, I can do. Mm -hmm. That's yep, helpful. Okay. So important. So number two, maximize the privilege. Right. So on this one, what you want to look at is all of the information that's in your PC. So you want to have that forensics team if you have available. If not, there's companies that can do it for you. We can do it for you. Lexicon can do it. There are lots of different ways. But what you want to do is gather all that information in your PC. So that's really what they're talking about there is increasing your capability to understand what's going on in that environment to predict how big it's going to be or how big it was before you actually unplugged that network cable or turned off the Wi-Fi. Okay, perfect. Number three, enhance security as you go. Yes, this is a big mistake that people make all the time. They want to wait until something happens to do security, which is, is one mistake. So, yes, definitely security. But uh, another mistake is they wait to get this whole program in place to to actually start it. And you shouldn't do that. Just start adding those layers on. So security is like an onion, multiple different layers. And so you want to put that in as quickly as you can because any protection that you put in place is better than no protection. Yeah, 100%. When you said big mistake, I thought about Pretty Woman. Remember when oh, she yes. walked, she's like, big mistake, huge mistake. I remember that. <laughs> All right, number four, control the narrative. Yes, this is important too. So what does everybody like to talk about? They like to talk about, hey, did you get hacked? What happened? And then the story grows, just like, uh, like you know, the old story about the the person that caught the fish and it was this oh, like big. A, like and a then it was a game of telephone? Yeah, like yeah, a yeah, game yeah. of telephone and it grows. So they always talk mm. about it. Well, your oh. brand is tied up in that discussion, and it doesn't take long for that story to really grow. So what you want to do is you want to limit the amount of people that you talk to about it when an event is occurring until you gather the exact facts of what occurred, and then you relate those in a professional uh, manner that fits with your industry, whether it's uh, what you're legally bound to communicate 
or just because you want to tell people what's going on with it. But you want to control that narrative. You want to focus the who knows to a smaller group. And then once you get the facts, then release those. It's so important because it grows instantly. Yeah, that's a good point. I never thought about that. That's why I'm here, Lauren. (laughs) Thank you, Bradley. (laughs) All right, number five, coordinate with your business partners. All of the different companies that you may work with, you have to understand how big the impact actually grew to. So let's talk about this. You didn't unplug the network cable. You didn't turn off the Wi-Fi. And you start to, you know, that, that issue starts to grow throughout your company. But as you start to investigate it and you do narrow it down, you have to find the origins. So where did it come from? Did it come from another customer? Did it come from one of your business partners? Where did this actually come from? So, so the more you can coordinate with them in a professional manner, you're going to be able to collect more information, which is critical to stopping events like that. We're on number six. So know your obligations and reserve your rights. Ooh. So there's certain terminology that can be utilized when you're investigating uh, bad actors, investigating an event that occurred. You want to use the word breach very carefully because you want to reserve your right to understand what actually occurred and use the right terminology to ex- uh, to explain the event. So a breach, you know, a lot of times can mean they're going in, they're taking out information. What if this was an event that just happened on the PC and no information was taken? So, yes, you have a virus on your PC, but you haven't really been oh. breached. So you they have to be. breached you, but you, but you ha- haven't been breached. That's right. Okay. So, so you want to be sure because you have a, a virus that doesn't have the, maybe it's malicious in the fact that it's going to change your desktop or whatever. That's still an event. Ooh, yeah. You know, it's still something that occurs, but you haven't actually, you know, given out any information. And that's what's important about your brand is you want to make sure that people feel safe. So you want to make sure you use the right, reserve your rights to use the right terminology. Okay, perfect. And then lastly, lastly, test test your plan ahead of time. This is something that people usually forget to do is you actually, you want to run through these events ahead of time. So go through drills, pretend that it's occurring set up and say, you know, your controls that are in place, this PC has been impacted. What do you do? Lauren, you're sitting at that PC. What do you do? What's the first thing? Okay. You turn off the Wi-Fi. you unplug it. Then what happens next? Where does it go after that? You know, it's important to run through that because when it's occurring, a lot of times people have a sense of panic and you really don't need that panic. What you need is to be calm and really approach it as, as a situation that has specific steps that need to occur. Perfect. Thank you, Brad. No problem. Yeah, and if you guys have any additional questions, we're here for you. Reach out. We have a full IT team on staff. That's right. Led by our buddy Brad here, so we're here if you need us. I like that. Maybe that should be my new co-host name. My buddy Brad. My buddy Brad. My buddy. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Lex Factor Briefs, and we'll talk to you next time. Talk to you next time. Thanks for tuning in to the Lex Factor. Lexicon takes care of business so you can take care of law. Learn how to build a better practice at lexiconservices.com.